Where was I? I think you'd finished. <coughs> a swamp of Eston shall be our next uh, scenario. So, so it came to pass that Prince Holdrick was forced from his home, never to return. With the help of his father's noble sacrifice, he has escaped through the southern pass. Holdrick has left the lands of his home, and before him stretches the vast expanse of the southern kingdoms of his, pe of his people. The, the river road follows the, the Isles uh, Great River to the southeast. This road leads to the Isles' uh, second largest city, Clearwater Port. It would, it would likely have been the, the Isles' largest city, save for the events of the West Folk War. The Lich Lords uh, befouled much of the land around the river during the course of a great battle. Now the swamp is, uh, is home to a merfolk imitating cult. And <coughs> in this scenario I believe we'll get Minister Edron and one of these two. Uh, <coughs> I'm not sure which one. Which <coughs> With great trouble. Trepid trepidation, uh, Prince Hordrick leads his refugee band into the swamp of Eston. In the center of that very swamp, a shroud of fog descends over young Prince Hordrick. I have a very bad feeling about this. This awful swamp and its crazy cult. Before these troubles started, we used to have clear used to have to clear the swamp every spring and autumn. I suppose with the rampaging bands of murderous orcs roaming ar about that hasn't been done in a while. I miss the orcs. We go all this way and... <laughs> what a lovely smell we have discovered. It's too quiet. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit at all. Wait, I think I hear something. Two arms. <laughs> Every time you hear something, uh, a tree is, the leaves of a tree uh, shuffling about or something, we'll have to go to arms. <laughs> to arms, to arms. Wait a minute. I don't have any arms! My arms! My arms! Who has stolen my arms? Arm thief! Arm thief! Hark, hark, hark. Never had any arms. Hark, hark, hark. And an early finish bonus. Good. So which one of these temples is uh, uh, the one uh, we have to go to? Let's see. Uh, there's an... There's probably an enemy here. Another one here. Yet another one here. And I believe that. Alright! That's it! Hmm. So. <sighs> how should we approach this situation? We can uh, go across here if they choose to do so uh, well this one is uh, closed uh, so i think we shall go there first mm, you'll take three turns to go to that temple you do that and you just go ahead so let's Bring our shock troopers, I believe. Uh, well, they might have some ma magi, uh, but. Uh, well, I just have to leave with it. And you grab that village. Uh, 
Mm. Hey! Uh, I mean, hey, there's somebody hidden in the temple, Ark Holdver. Hmm, interesting. <sighs> we need the healer uh, somewhere around us. So, well, here <coughs> we'll have a. Uh, we can heal two people. I mean, three people, actually. And here only we, these two. So I believe we shall risk uh, and take the risk and uh, move him here. And you hopefully will get the chance to uh, give you some more experience. Aha! Our chance is here. Um, and someone... Uh, you are the only one who can uh, try to kill it. Go to you. Did it. <sighs> I am uh, somewhat afraid of... Uh, what might happen. I mean, <coughs> that we are uh, not sending forces uh, down here also, but I don't believe we have the res resources to do that. But we should send someone here. Hmm. But who would it be? I don't know. I believe uh, this will have to do these <coughs> forces. Hmm, these can poison me, so I must be careful in this game. But uh, there aren't many places to hide here. <laughs> Let's see, you can... No, you can't kill it and you would likely get poisoned. <coughs> if you tried. Well, we'll have to get our healer... Uh, here. And... <coughs> that way, uh, even if someone get, gets poisoned... Uh, we, we can cure it instantly. So let's see, Lady Outlaw, you are the fastest one, I believe. And you have that skur... I mean... D well... Don't you have a skirmish I thought you had? Well... <sighs> Is it worth the risk to go there? right now. I believe we shall have a, uh, <coughs> another chance when we are taking this uh, castle here. So you have 30% uh, defense there. I believe we should have a, a spearman or perhaps Lady Outlaw actually. <coughs> well, uh, She's a bit vulnerable, so I'm not sure. Well... <sighs> this uh, giant scorpion doesn't have any uh, magical or marksman or woman uh, abilities, so attacks, so... We should read these once again. Uh, a normal scorpion is dangerous enough. The deadliness of one the size of a man uh, needs li little e explanation. This victim, the victims of this unit's poison will continually take damage until they can be cured in a town or by a unit which cures. Dwarf steel clad. 
The more experienced dwarvish steel clad fighters were heavy chain mail armor, mail and plate armor, for which they are rightly famous. Some match I as they learn about the world around them and learn the truth of the suffering and squalo in which humanity too often lives, find that they cannot bring themselves to be clustered into a life of study. These men and women uh, give up the life of a, of a mage and join monastic orders, dedicating the skills they have been given to, to the good of all. After their ordination, they often travel the world, ministering to sickness and injury. Though not trained for combat, they are a potent ally against magical or unnatural things. This unit has uh, magical attacks, I know that, and the unit's arcane attack uh, deals tremendous damage to magical creatures and even uh, some to mundane creatures. This unit is capable of healing those around it and curing them of poison. Did I... I think I read uh, the description. Did I ever read the main match eyes descriptions? Description. Humans have often pondered the workings of the world in which they live. Some endeavor to take this beyond idle musing and to set it as the primary enterprise of their lives. Any match I worthy of the title have spent at least a decade in study, amassing a sum of knowledge which sets them apart from other people. These men and women who have committed themselves f fully to the per pursuit of wisdom stand in a stark contrast to a world where few can even read and write. The ranks are filled with the children of hopeful nobility or those who sought an escape from the intellectual void of manual labor. It is an irony that with all their knowledge and their unamassing monopoly wealth, the collective community of Magi could likely rule society were they ever to try. However, the true love is neither money nor power, and those who see the study of magic as a means to such ends often lack the very conviction required for true mastery. Physically Physically frail and lacking, lacking familiarity with combat, much I do possess certain arts which are of great utility in battle. And magical attacks. Uh, Westfolk lady. Born in Westfolk. Did I read this? Ah, yes, I believe I read that already. Mm, and. The use of archery in shooting something other than a game was seen from its inception and ar archers have been indispensable uh, in warfare since time immemorial. Unusual, usually of humble uh, origins, hailing from the peasantry of uh, wood, uh, from the peasantry of woodsmen, or women, M military bowmen are trained to uh, come combatants with both a bow and a short sword, and are very common on the battlefield. I've always found it to be a lumberjack, leaping from tree to tree. <laughs> hmm. Swords are for many an expensive luxury, and one Raymond luxury yacht. And one which uh, peasants can ill afford. Spears are much easier to make and will do well even without a spearhead, though most uh, can afford one. <sighs> Clad in leather armor and often armed with a shield and f a few javelins, spearmen or women are the staple of most armies, often thrown into the fr front lines with only the most basic training. The length of this unit's weapon allows it to strike first in melee, even in defense. And... Did I read your description? The rank of a noble commander is uh, <coughs> held by those who lead battle groups into combat. 
Possessing leadership skills may give lower level units in adjacent hexes improved performance in combat. Commanders are best skilled with a sword, although they also carry a bow to use when necessary. If a commander is lost, so is the battle. Uh, the leadership of his unit enables adjacent units of the same side to deal more damage in combat, though this only applies to units of lower level. <coughs> Um, uh, <coughs> Do we use bucklers actually? They are uh, this look uh, so small, they could be. Uh, well, I've uh, <coughs> uh, read uh, some uh, some things about uh, ancient combat and Well, <laughs> bucklers aren't as uh, bad. Uh, actually, they are pretty good as uh, weapons. Uh, I, well, uh, yes, they are used as weapons also. Uh, not uh, just for defense. It's actually pretty... Well... <sighs> well, uh, just... I'm probably not the best suited to explain any uh, ancient warfare <laughs> things. Mm, that's not good enough. I've <sighs> can somebody actually go to these villages? I don't think so. So no matter. Ah, Spaffy, Spaffy. <laughs> to move you any further than that. I, it doesn't seem like so. But. Hmm. <coughs> Actually, one step, uh, one step back would probably be a good idea. A scorpion could poison my white mage from this point. I know it's too risk, so let's not. <coughs> let's not give them a chance to do that. So now you can only attack my melee units. Good. Out of the door, line on earth. One cross each. Next! <coughs> Actually, you could grab a village. Do that. Uh, <coughs> I'm uh, actually uh, trying to apply. Uh, well, uh, uh, not. Is is uh, apply a good term for this? Uh, anyway, I'm uh, trying to uh, <coughs> what for you took so much damage. So hard, difficult to uh, uh, to uh, do play and uh, <laughs> think of something interesting to talk to at the same time. So this is it's such a difficult hobby. Hard, hard. Well, uh, the 
this place would probably be here. I'm not sure which place. Uh, if I put it here, it could potentially... <sighs> I could potentially heal all of these tiles. And... <clears throat> yes, that looks like the best position for my white mage. So you retreat. You attack, and uh, you can't, you didn't kill him. That thing here, there. unfortunately. Anyway, so I'm, uh, uh, I will be uh, go, uh, trying to. Uh, Compete in the parliamentary elections in my country. Uh, uh, and my uh, list, list of uh, things I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, trying to improve. I'm uh, uh, <coughs> this world. It's not dead yet, even now. And I don't want to risk my uh, Prince Hall trick. So let's. We have a good chance to kill that dark adept. And let's. Let's let him do it. <coughs> My promises, if it, I'm not sure how to call them, uh, but uh, so let's just uh, call them uh, promises <laughs> for now. Uh, uh, the list of them is uh, seven pages long, actually, and well, uh, on, uh, well uh, only uh, in uh, quotation marks. Uh, Three, page, I mean four pages of them, of them uh, uh, are things that I am really actively, uh, I will actively uh, try to uh, uh, advance. No, that's not right. Nobody attacked him, so well, that's a good thing. Uh, well, not that great because I would have probably killed them in retaliatory strikes because walking corpses, and I should read the description, they are pretty weak. As you can see, 18 hit points. Walking corpses are the bodies of your dead, reanimated by dark magic. While not especially dangerous to a trained soldier, the sight of one's former comrades amongst their number is frightening to say the least. Those who lose their life to the plague will rise again in unlife, unless they are standing on a village. And now that we, are, we actually have a... <coughs> We actually are only against these walking ghosts and one, one dark left. <coughs> uh, I think uh, it's not that risky to try to advance more quickly. 
To attract any practitioner's value of black magic must be a great price indeed for anyone caught practicing the art in the civilized world is subject to a, to a death sentence. And yet there are the, those who pursue this art for the price offered is nothing less than immortality. Hidden away in secret codes or initiated <coughs> into the dark orders of the underworld, the training which uh, these fanatics uh, must endure often drives them to exhaustion, exho exho exhaustion and enfeeblement. In such condition, the only weapon is the craft they have so committed themselves to learning. <coughs> this unit. Actually, I have read that already. Those special books. <coughs> so, 21% chance of killing that. And you only have the same amount. And you'd have a 34% chance. So, let's uh, try to kill it with gold. <coughs> So, how far do I want to advance? <coughs> I need someone to go to this uh, village, I mean this temple here, so let's move you this far. Or oh, actually, let's wait until I am sure that uh, nobody can attack you. 50 pieces of gold. Or oh, actually, even if this uh, dark sorcerer attacks you, you will have enough hit points to... Uh, <coughs> or do you? Yes, you do have enough hit points to survive that. <coughs> and you... How far do I... I mean... Actually, <coughs> I should have... Uh, not have uh, used my noble commander's turn just yet, so let's actually. Let's just give you a chance, <laughs> and you blew it. <laughs> uh, yes, let's try to kill that also. And else, you have twenty-five percent also. So let's try to kill that. Well, if I try to kill it with that, uh, then uh, this Dark Adept can uh, hi hit Lady Outlaw even and take even more hit points out of her. So, let's not do that just yet. Just. Yes, you can uh, grab that village. You could probably, uh, well, uh, when I wouldn't have anyone to heal uh, the one in this uh, <coughs> temple here. If I let you uh, attack. So, should I give you a chance to <coughs> heal that or someone else? 50%, well, that's uh, pretty good. Uh, well, <coughs> so let's uh, give that uh, thing blow to someone who has magical attacks, and uh, you shall <laughs> try to kill that walking corpse there. And you have both magical attacks. Or oh, actually, should I let 75%? Well, I can't not take that chance. Let's do 